ominous noise. Hail the Lord of the Night. Hello everyone and welcome to Fork Monsters vlog for the Warmer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. Uh, it's episode 9 here and it begins in a quite unusual way. It's me here and it's not the models in front of me. Uh, I wanted some special intro or to say, say so. Uh, first of all I have to explain that I'm running a bit late on my models. Uh, I have several squads coming up but uh, I want to do them in the right order. I'm a very organized person like that so uh, it's a bit difficult for me to run out of that order so I can't for instance I can't show fourth claw until I've shown third claw or something like that. Uh, but I could give you some slight hints. Uh, I will get on to showing you uh, my the last the la the last part of the raptors uh, in in episode ten hopefully uh, I only have two raptors left and I am recording also as at the same time when I I'm doing a painting guide for them uh, and I'm about halfway through you will get to see some results in this video actually I just wanted to explain that in front of you so you could see that uh, also I got a painting guide for a Nightclaws Dreadnought coming up uh, and I've only sprayed that so far so it's it's way in the future but you will get to see some previews in this uh, this episode uh, what I've all what uh, what I've forgotten about this vlog is that it's not only supposed to show the finished work it's also supposed to show you how I get there so this episode will mostly be about my progress uh, my current progress so to say so uh, Awesome, and I think, yeah, so it, it will be interesting. Also, I will show you some uh, Iron Warriors. I got some Iron Warriors for you to see in this episode, but the, the only reason because I'm going to show you some Iron Warriors is because I'm going to sell them. Uh, I should warn you guys though that that part is pre-recorded prior to this, and it was very uh, spontaneous. I was not organized when I uh, f uh, filmed it, so my la uh, my speaking my speaking will lack a little bit uh, out of none now not out of non organized planning, so to say so. But uh, I hope you will enjoy watching my previews and my Iron Warriors. This will be a first time for them actually. So see you in two seconds. So, welcome back again. So, I'm gonna begin this progress by showing some of my non-Games uh, Workshop projects that I've bought recently. Uh, these Skybar miniatures, uh, who are shoulder pads that look like lion heads, I've already shown you in a previous video. And uh, now I'm gonna show you some first-hand results with that, which appear to be this one. Uh, it is a... Uh, Loyalist uh, Terminator arm with some Skybar head on it. It does fit, uh, but it does look a little bit big. But I think it could work uh, once the paint is on. I had to dig out inside here as if there it was not deep enough. Uh, otherwise, it, the arm would st stand out too much. So my recommendation to you guys is that you dig out some of the. Uh, plastic in this uh, Skybor uh, shoulder pad. I have also uh, drilled a little hole here, which you can see here moved my thumb. So it looks like a bullet tried to get come through there. Uh, it's 10 for uh, f 5 euros I think it is. Uh, it could be a bit more. Then also I've ordered from Puppets of War and that's this product here. It's uh, bat wings uh, shoulder pads. Uh, they look really cool. Uh, when I saw a picture of uh, Sabatar, it's a fan-made picture. Uh, I can uh, link the image or show it in the beginning. Uh, his right shoulder pad looks like one of these, except that the wings, instead of going up, it's going down length of the arm. But, but I thought these were 70% close enough, so I thought to myself, Hey, I want some new original shoulder pads, so I ordered these as well. 
Uh, I had no problems with Puppets of War. It, they arrived around after a couple of weeks uh, of waiting. I do live in Sweden, so I, I, I did expect that it should uh, take some while. The funny thing though is that at first I thought I was, I was gonna order a pack of two, meaning uh, one pack is 10 shoulder pads, two packs is 20. But in the last minute I removed it from my uh, uh, my buckets, my uh, yeah, uh, where you place the order. So I only ordered 10. But instead I, it arrived with 20 in them and I thought I, I accidentally paid for two, two packs. I checked the website, it said only one. I checked my bank account, it said I only paid for one plus uh, delivery. So it means they accidentally sent me twice as much. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, thank you very much Puppet Wars, you're awesome for sending too much. So, now over to the progress at hand. Here we are at my desk. Yes, there's a bunch of things lying here waiting. First we can go with the big stuff. We have a rhino underneath part here, who is practically done. The only problem is that uh, I saw a thread on Warseer where it said that uh, it showed some of the Forge World parts for a Night Lord's Rhino, and I think they have to order those. So I'm gonna sell out some uh, things, which I will mention later in this video. Uh, I'm gonna sell some uh, Iron Warriors uh, to get some extra money. Next to that we have my Night Lord Rhino lower part with uh, its base and some scenery. Uh, the bags, the sandbags are from a Death Corpse pack which I bought second hand on a Swedish site called Tradera. And then we have what I'm really excited about. Two members of the Chiroptera. I, I think you guys can almost Guess which this who which this guy is. Uh, let's say it this. He is the Prince of Kraus. Uh, this uh, yeah. So it's Savatar, the first captain of the Night Lords. Uh, as I've said earlier, I'm gonna make the Chiroptera. Uh, so here they are. Next to him, I think this could be a bit tricky to guess who it is, but uh, um, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's uh, it's the Pale. So yeah, it's Krukesh, the Pale of the Night Lords. He's described to be where normal Night Lords are very pale. He, this guy is definitely pale. Uh, when I'm painting the skin for my normal Night Lords, I usually use this color here, rotting flesh. But for Krukesh, I'm instead using simple white and some uh, wash uh, to. Dis dis distinguish some uh, f uh, feature in his face. He has a power sword which uh, can be acquired from the Night Lord's converter pack. Uh, unfortunately it's not in metal anymore, it is in resin and I must uh, uh, say that I dislike resin so much, it's a really crappy thing. First of all we have uh, air bubbles and it appears that uh, Games Workshop never bothers to check out those uh, so I have no idea how many of the heads uh, that uh, were pr uh, ruined in one way or another because of this. So I, I do not uh, like resin at all uh, as uh, I can sh will show you on some of my uh, uh, raptors as well. Moving on. First we have our two raptors here that I'm doing a painting guide for. He on the left, he's supposed to become Lecarophus, but I, I'm not so certain anymore. Uh, if you look at this guy, he has loyalist legs. I thought it would be cool to try and cha chaosify them. It, it looks pretty alright, but it's not enough. Uh, as you can see here, he has, a, he has a normal Chaos Space Marine torso, he has a New Raptor, no, he has a new Warp Talon head and he has a regular Loyalist Assault Marine legs. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do about this. I do have the, the regular backpack here, 
but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do about this. So, uh, so far this could be Lucarapus, I hope so. Yeah, I know he's supposed to walk on all fours, but I'm not the perfect converter, so you have to deal with it. Then we have another uh, resin raptor here. He was pr pretty alright, uh, unlike some, one of his brothers in the pack, whose uh, chainsaw was pretty much ruined. Moving on, we have the heavy bolter dude in fourth claw. He is halfway through as well. Uh, there's only the washes left for him, and perhaps some. Um, yeah, it's only the washes left now. Then he's pretty much done. Uh, or, or, and some other details, but let's not get into that. Then next to him we have a regular Tear Space Marine who has a bolter and he's a part of Fork Law as well. Nothing special about him. And behind him we have uh, another member of Fourth Claw, also almost done. Next to him we have the weapons for a dread, uh, Chaos Dreadnought. We have the Assault Cannon, which, uh, uh, which uh, Malkarian, the War Sage, who was the 10th Captain, has as his main weapon. And next to that we have a Heavy Bolter. I'm, so far I'm not certain if I should use the Heavy Bolter for my Night Lords or my Emperor Children's Dreadnought. I have, we'll have to return to that in the future. And next to that we have the actual sarcophagus, where the uh, Night Lord is supposed to be resting. Uh, it's it's a very nice model. The only problem I the only thing I did wrong was back here. Uh, I accidentally cut off some pieces, so I had to fill out with the green stuff. It looks all right now, but uh, me as a slightly perfectionist will always see it. So that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, and the last but not least we have, let's see, he's also a member of Chiroptera. He has an uh, augmented arm. Who could this be? Oh, sorry. Who could this guy be? Uh, yeah, it's the backhand. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what his full name is now. I think it's Torric or something. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the... Prince of Kraus story as well. Hmm. Yeah, so that's my slight progress at the being. I have a Rhino coming up, but it's uh, far from finished, as well as the Dreadnought. I have some Chiroptera members, who is almost completely done. I have Raptors, and I have members of the fourth class. So, uh, you guys, you have to. I have to apologize that I'm being a bit slow, but I'm working as fast as I can. Also, I promise this, uh, my very faithful member and watcher and friend Erika, I, I was a bit mean to her the other day when I called her a Danish person. Uh, she lives in the southern, southern Sweden, so uh, she's very close to Denmark. So we often joke that she's more Danish than she is Swedish. Uh, so I thought uh, I'm gonna show her this rock. It's very special, I acquired it about two years ago in Turkey. Uh, when I was going to Turkey on vacation with my family, I said, yeah, is there anything I can do for you? She was being a bit sad at the time, so she said, yeah, bring me back a rock. So that's what I did. Here's a rock, Erika, your rock, and I named it Erika. Uh, I promised myself I'm, I'm gonna feature this in more videos in the future. Just try and keep and remind me. Yeah, so let, over to the last and very uh, unprepared, very, uh, very, I forgot the word for it, <laughs> uh, spontaneous and very unprepared and very unpracticed uh, p last part of my Iron Warriors. So, see you then.